welcome to the Stockboy Gaming Channel where we're testing for everything you see on your screen there. It's the Arbiter GT, Sentinel XS, and Astron Custom, and these three cars could not be more different from each other. There's one thing they have in common though, they are a ton of fun. If you've been watching this series of videos with these new HSW cars, you know that these are the bottom three vehicles, but check out the other two videos if you haven't already. First off, we're going drag racing. We got the Astron Custom on the left and the Sentinel XS Custom on the right. German car versus German SUV and the German SUV smokes the Sentinel to the eighth and quarter mile lines. That thing is really fast and the Sentinel XS is faster than the original, but we can see here that that Astron is just quick. All the way to the half mile line, it beats the Sentinel XS pretty badly. So now it's gonna have to take on this new muscle car and this muscle car is a monster. If you haven't driven it yet, this thing can move. It's quite the task for the Astron to try to take on. We're gonna see if it can beat it to that eighth mile line. It stays pretty close, but that Arbiter GT beats it to the eighth and quarter mile line as you see here. It is really quick and I don't do wheelies in my testing. If you wanna know why, you can ask in the comments. I'll explain it again. But you can see it will go all the way to the half mile line much quicker than that Astron. So now for my last video where we did kind of the middle tier of cars, we're gonna take a look at the Banshee and see how this Arbiter GT stacks up against the Banshee and why it might be in this lower tier. We're only going to the quarter mile for this test because that's all we're gonna need. And you'll see here to that eighth mile, the Banshee beats the Arbiter GT. It's really fast and the Arbiter GT is too, but man, that Banshee, it's really just on another level. We're not gonna go to the half mile because it extends that gap even more. But you see here on the drag times, the Arbiter GT does come out on top of these three with a fairly respectable 10 and a half second quarter mile. The Astron and the Sentinel XS, they're lacking a bit, especially when you compare them to some of the other cars we've tested so far. So that's a big reason why they're in this lower tier. But now we're gonna test for top speeds and we wanna see how fast these go around my custom speedway. If you're new to the channel, I do the speed score, which combines the drag times you just saw with the top speeds around this circuit or the average speeds around this circuit for each of these cars and their lap time on my technical test track. So you don't wanna leave yet, stick around. We've got some pretty big surprises here and it's kinda of cool just how different these cars are. Each one of them has a strength it's a lot of fun to test this way, and it's a big reason why I do test this way. It's a good way to tell overall performance and how these things do compare to each other. We can see here that the Arbiter GT also has the highest top speed at a 146. That's really fast, but the Sentinel XS is above the Astron Custom now in that test. We're gonna test this monster out on my test track though. We're going up on two wheels, this thing's sliding around corners, tons of oversteer. It is so much fun to drive, and the one thing these cars really have in common is that they are a lot of fun. Maybe the most fun of the vehicles that I've been able to test so far, but this is my test track, and it's pretty technical. You'll see here there are a lot of hairpins. It's one turn after another after another. We want to see which one can get to this first gantry quickest. This is the first sector, and it's going to be the Sentinel XS just barely. They are so close to each other there at that first gantry. And now we're going into a section that favors high-speed cars a little bit. So you would think that the Arbiter GT would have the advantage, but you can see how much it slides around that dual bank 90 degree corner. And it actually is quite a bit behind the Sentinel once we get to that second gantry. So coming around here, we've got another long sweeping corner, but you can see the Arbiter, you have to really control the throttle. The stability from that Sentinel XS on this track does it a lot of favors and it handles so well. It's a little bit quicker than the original, obviously, and here at this track, if the Arbiter is gonna catch it, it's gonna be here because it has that much more acceleration, we know. Can it catch it here on the final stretch? That Sentinel's giving it everything it's got. The Arbiter's gonna try, but the Sentinel XS comes out on top of the Arbiter GT, which won our last two tests, so handling-wise, that Sentinel XS is looking really good, and now it's gonna go up against the Astron, and after this, I'll show you the winner against the Banshee again, just so you can get an idea of how these stack up against the cars from my other videos. The Sentinel XS handles really well, like I said. It's not a monster like the Arbiter GT. It can't quite keep up with the Astron to that first gantry, 
but we saw it gain quite a bit on the Arbiter in this section, so we might see the same thing here. The Astron is a lot of fun to drive. You can see it does maintain its gap there. For an SUV, it is so fast and it's really stable. It handles really well, but now you have that extra acceleration from these house parts. It's a ton of fun. Both of these cars though are gonna be insanely even once we get to that reverse start finish line. The Sentinel hasn't quite been able to close the gap, but it is closing it maybe a little bit. And this last sector, we saw it blow the Arbiter away. So will it be able to close the gap here? It does as we get to this final stretch, they are neck and neck, but you can see the acceleration from the Astrain. Way too much for that Sentinel SX XS to take. So how does the Astron stack up to the Banshee and why isn't it in that second tier? Well, this is gonna show you pretty clearly what the difference is. And the Banshee handles well, it's not great, but the acceleration you saw coming out of the hairpin there is the big deal. You can see the gantry on the top of the Astron screen there. It wasn't even close when that thing came out of the hairpin. So the Banshee, even though it maybe doesn't handle as well as the Sentinel or the Astrian, it just has so much power and you can see as it accelerates out of the corners just how much quicker it is than even this Astrian, which is a crazy fast SUV in the game. It's just that a lot of these other cars that are in those higher tiers into my other videos are really, really quick. So we're not gonna finish that lap, we don't need to. But we'll see here that these three cars from this video are really close performance wise and that Arbiter may be pretty far behind as far as the lap time goes. But that's just because it's, it's so difficult to handle but that also makes it so much fun. Muscle cars in general kind of struggle around this track. That's not unique to the Arbiter GT, that's just kind of how it goes. But when we put it all together, we're looking at overall performance with the speed score, it still puts the Arbiter GT on top because it has so much acceleration, so much power and such a better top speed at 146. These three cars with 93 speed scores and 191, those are still faster than most of the supercars in the old version of the game. So even though they're at the bottom of this HSW class, they are so quick and so much fun to drive. I really like the Sentinel XS. It handles extremely well. It's really balanced, very easy to throw around corners. It's one of those cars that you can throw around in free mode pretty easily. And it's some of the, it's somewhat not expensive. It's a little expensive. All these cars are expensive, but it's somewhat not expensive. I can't wait to put this one up against the Toros. That's gonna to be a fun video that I'm working on. And you'll wanna stay tuned for that one because this thing is an absolute monster. And even though the Toros is awesome, I have a feeling we're gonna see some pretty good racing in that video based on what I know about the top speeds and everything with those cars. And then you look at this Arbiter GT. You saw it go up on two wheels before. You'll see here, the back end sliding out. It's so much fun to drive. It's really difficult. I absolutely love that. If you want a really fun car, that's the car for you. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments too. Thanks so much for joining and I hope to see you next time.